I can count on one hand how many times I've had a pedicure and the one day that I'm like, you know what sounds good today? A pedicure. Dude, who knew that these places get booked out for like two weeks in advance? Anyway, so the pedicure is off the table for today. I called around to a couple places and they're all booked out until like maybe the week after next. But <laughs> I was like, what? I don't care where I go. Let me just, let me just call this random place. I looked it up and the first review on Yelp was like, worst place I've ever visited in my entire life. And part of me wants to just be like, you know what? Let me test that theory. I'll tell you if it's the worst. Doing my freckles before. I do have a lot of things I have to do down at the Disco Daisy today. So, but I wanted to like schedule one later for me and my girlfriend who's in town. Anyways, um, one thing about me is if I'm going to schedule something, I will lose sleep over it and like dread it and get anxious about it, even if it's a pedicure. So I'm like probably their worst type of customer that just calls and says, hey, you got any openings today? Because if I can schedule it day of, then I'm like totally fine. But anyways, that's the tea. I've been sitting in this dark room with my shades drawn because I have two gentlemen out there working on <laughs> the weeds in my wildflower garden. angels walking this earth right there it was a referral and i called him yesterday and um he came over and took a look and gave me a quote and he was like if i can do it tomorrow and if i can't do it tomorrow it's not going to be for two weeks that i can get back here and do it and i was like shine me up so they said it would probably take they're on their hands and knees pulling all those weeds like I said, angels on earth. This would take Andy and I, um, we would we'd probably be divorced. Also, one more thing. I'm not complaining. I am complaining. But I'm not complaining because I love to watch my daughter play softball. But what man, and I know it was a man, what man scheduled a tournament on Mother's Day weekend? An unmarried man, I'll tell you what.